All right, we're back. We've taken our little break from Lorne. Um, in the meanwhile, we have a Discord now that Paco is going to put a link in the Discord. We have a lot of fun over there, and it'd be great if you join us. Uh, we're also on Rumble. Um, Paco will probably post this on Rumble first, so she can put the link in the description. Um, and that's, I guess that's all our YouTuber crap, right? Yeah. Discord, yeah, Rumble. Much. Yeah. I guess, I guess like, subscribe, hit the bell, <laughs> all that shit, right? I, I, I don't, I don't care. It's enough, that, it's enough that you, that you watch our videos. Yep. Yeah. So. All right. So today we're doing Jeff Sokol. Yes. This is probably our most requested predator. Yeah. Him and Dupay. And I, I, I want to go on, I want to go on Dupay. But I can't find a good transcript for Dupay, because when I find it, it seems to be kind of jumbled around. Or I'll find tran you know, bits of the bits of the Dupay chat log. Um, if anybody has a link to like a complete Dupay chat log, I know it's out there because Babsby did some videos on the Dupay chat log. So I mean, I know it's out there. But I, I'm just not having an easy time finding it. So if somebody can find it and send us a link, it'd be great. But. In the meantime, Jeff sit so back, relax. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I, I, I will throw this out there because every now and then, not very often, but every now and then somebody complains, you know, and says, hey, just read the thing. Don't give us the commentary. And of course, that's not what we're about. We get sidetracked. We get off the rails. Our cats start start causing trouble and everything and uh um this if you want to hear this without a bunch of commentary joey's decap channel has the jeff, jeff sokol immersion pack that you can hear this without a bunch of commentary but uh yeah that's not who we are nah nah yeah we're goofs yeah it happens this i i've 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 heard this a couple times this will be your first time as it, always through this chat log it will yeah yep. so uh i guess let's just get into it all righty. All right, actors. Jeff Sokol, a 44-year-old manipulative and insecure potential child molester, and... Bailey, a 13-year-old. Poor thing. Yep. All righty. All right, start transcript. Partial wire club conversation between Jeff and Bailey. Day and date not displayed. Transcriber note. This conversation probably happens moments before Jeff contacts Bailey on Skype for the first time. Okay. All right. Well, do you have any regular ones? Yeah. Any chance I could see one? Smiley face? Yeah. You got kick? No. I have Facebook, WhatsApp, or Skype. Ugh. I deleted Facebook. How old are you? 44, you. 13. Okay. I'll be 14 next month. That's great. Smiley face. Do you have either WhatsApp or Skype? Uh, send Skype. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Okay. Are you on now? Who is this? Are you the guy from Wire Club? Yes, of course. Cool. If I show you a pic, don't laugh. I won't. I don't judge. Send me the pic on your avatar. Sends pic of a black and white selfie. Would love to see. Cute pic you sent. Don't have color pics? Ha ha. No, because she they didn't have color film back then. <laughs> Sends a picture of her on the beach. What about you? I have a bunch of pics on wire. I can add you if you want to see them. Is that cool? Sure. You are gorgeous. Is that creepy to you? Lol. No, not at all, dude. No, 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 no. <laughs> 13-year-old girls just love it when 44 guys are like, oh, you're gorgeous. That's yeah. Like, yeah. I like your pics. Thanks. And thank you for saying that. I'm not normally rude, lol. I don't think you are. I'm just stunned how beautiful you are. You're really 13? You have some badass tats. Thanks. I like my tats. Yeah. Did you ever think you would say a 44-year-old dude is hot, lol? Did she say he's hot? She, she didn't. Just that he has badass tats. Huh. Yeah. I, I take what you want, I guess. Yeah, I mean, I guess you could take Lauren and put, like, a 
eagle with a snake in its feet on his back, and he'd have a badass tat, and, I mean, it'd be on Lorne. Yeah. <laughs> Just stop saying he's hot. I turn 14 October 21st. I think older guys are handsome. Well, some. There's this guy, Lorne. <laughs> That's cool. Do you go out with guys at school? I just moved here. Oh. So, I don't really know guys yet. Page break, line missing. Yeah, a few. It's tough when you're new. Can you do me a favor? Especially because I came from California here. It's crazy. Huh? I want to see you. Could we do a video chat for like a minute? Really quick, smiley face. I'm on my iPod. It doesn't have video? No. My dad took that away because I was video chatting too much. Let's see. Don't you have Skype on your phone or computer as well? Lol. Wow. If I had my own laptop, yeah. Do you have your own phone? And my phone is in limbo because I broke two this year. So, I don't get my upgrade for another month. Well, actually, like two weeks. So, my mom gave me a retarded flip phone. Wait, if you have Skype on your iPod, are you sure it doesn't have video? I thought it comes with Skype. I'm sure my dad disabled cam. Yeah, but if he disabled it, you can easily enable it. It's in the settings. I'm not getting into trouble. Alright, but it's just weird. Wait, are you someone trying to see if I would? Why would he disable it on a device that can easily be overridden? Gee, I don't know, Jeff. Maybe that's an odd thing. Maybe that's a red flag you should consider. What? Yeah, it, maybe this isn't making sense. It's possible that it's not real. But nah, fuck you, it. Yeah, no. It's, nah, it's fuck fine. it. Show up in that house with the pizza like an idiot you are. Man, I haven't been in trouble for three months. No, it just doesn't make much sense. I don't believe you. And I want to verify it's you, because people on Wire are fucked up. Yeah, we know. Yeah, I know. We're, we're, we're reading the chat log of one. I'm not getting in trouble again. Can't trust anyone, but all right. Okay, exactly. I can show you who I am. I guess I just don't want to make sure... I guess I just want to make sure you are who you are. I can call tomorrow if you want. But I really don't want to get in trouble. I'm sorry, the slightly different format on this is throwing me off a little bit. Yeah, same. Yeah. We all will make it. Yeah. I don't want you to get in trouble. Call me now on phone or Skype. So, if you are someone who knows my dad or mom, tell them I'm not fucking around on here. On phone. Bailey. Yeah? The chances of me knowing your dad is so small. Come on. We randomly met on wire. How do I know people don't just randomly look? You're being paranoid, lol. If you got in trouble, as much as I used to, you'd understand. But if you call me on the phone, I still can't see you to verify, lol. Guess not. Can you use a computer at school? To go on Skype for a minute? But I don't know you good enough to risk getting fucking grounded again. My mom finally trusted me to leave me alone this weekend. Well, I was just saying we could video chat for 30 seconds. To verify. Well, I don't know. It's strange. This dude is jumping right into that. Yeah. Uh, you, know, I, you know, I've listened to this a, d a bunch of times. This dude jumps right into it. This is not the first time this guy's ever talked to a kid online. And I bet it's not even the first time he got caught doing it. Yeah. He is all about, I want to make sure this is actually a little girl. Hmm. I guess you haven't run into fake people on wire. No. Mostly people who want to see my feet. You... <laughs> Your hooves. <laughs> Freshly painted. <laughs> you could be anyone for all I know. It would just make me feel more comfortable, I guess. And then you would know it's me as well. Are you even able to use Skype at school? Is it possible? Low. Nope. Okay. Have you seen the computers? Haha, <laughs> I'm sure they suck.
cheap ass school. Laughing my ass off. Can you send me one face pic that's in color? Smiley face emoji. Anyway, I'm going to bed. Yeah, I can send you one. That's the censored picture of Bailey and her friend. I'm on the left. Or maybe you can borrow a friend's phone to Skype me for a few seconds another time, smiley face. Yeah, maybe. Hey, Bailey. Anyhow, I'm tired. Yeah? I think you look amazing. I hope you don't think that's crazy considering the age difference. Thanks, that really means a lot to me. I shouldn't even be talking to you because you're so young, compared to me. It's been a long time since someone said that to me. Well, I really hope it's you. Let's talk again. You aren't like Santa Claus old. Yeah, you're not thousands of years old. <laughs> <laughs> no, we know that one. <laughs> <laughs> you're not Ham Bubker at all. <laughs> but work on getting video, smiley face, so we can see each other, even if it's only for a minute. Yeah, I know I'm not old, but most girls your age would think so. I'm not most girls. I like school. I like to read. I got in some trouble when my parents divorced, and I had to move here. I'm glad you're not. I hate fakes. I hate users. I hate liars. But I don't just go trusting people because people lie. And I get hurt. Right, you shouldn't. That's why I was trying to verify you. I don't trust many people online. So, if after all that you still want to talk, cool. But you seem nice. You're smart for your age. And you are beautiful. So yes, I do. I hate stupid people. That's why I hardly talk to guys my age. I don't want to hear your mama jokes. Yeah, I mean, I can't stand men in their 40s who are constantly cracking mama jokes. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. terrible. Yeah, you know, I, yeah. Yeah. No, no, it's bad is when you teach the kid the your mama jokes. <laughs> no, what's bad is when he's cracking mama jokes at you and you can't crack them back. I can't! I can't! It's awful! It's just, I'm, 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 I'm just stuck. Yeah. I get middle school up in here. A tiny bit. <laughs> <laughs> and how loud someone can burp, hello? Right. Jeff? Very immature. Thank you for saying I'm pretty. You're welcome. Good night, Bailey. Well, good night. Talk to you soon. Soon. Hey, how was your day? This is the next day, I guess. Yep. It's good. How is yours? Great. Working right now. What you doing? Homework. I have dance class tonight, so I have to get it done. What is your job? Premium auditor for an insurance industry. Work from home a lot. Or at clients. My company is in Connecticut, but I never have to go there. So I live in Boston. I'm not sure if you knew that. And I would be doing a Boston accent if I could do a Boston accent, but I can't do a Boston accent. I can do park the car in the garage, but that's about it. It's, <laughs> it's terrible. It sucks. <laughs> I think you told me. I don't know what your job means, Lil, but it sounds like you're smart. Thanks, smiley face emoji. I don't expect you to understand unless I explain it, but I won't right now. Most girls don't know anything about construction stuff. <laughs> Are you at home? Yeah, just for a little while. Okay. Can I ask you a personal question? Okay. Are you a virgin, space question mark? Oh, well, yeah, that is personal. No, I was with my boyfriend once. So you slept with one guy? Yeah. More than once? A couple of times. I am surprised. Why? Most girls your age are virgins, so I'm impressed. I told you last night I'd gotten into trouble before. Right, but I wasn't sure for what. And lol, and my old school, there were a lot of thirsty thoughts. Oh yeah, this one's always, this one's the thoughts and stuff, yes. Thirsty thoughts? I'm not thirsty or a thought. Oh, uh, what do you mean? Not thought. Thought. T-H-O-T. Thirsty means someone who gives blowjobs to whoever. What's a thought? 
that hoe over there. Haha, <laughs> did you blow your boyfriend? No. Honestly, it always happens so fast, and then it was like, what the fuck? Have you blown anyone? No. I never cheated on him, and we were together for like a year. I really want to see you on vid. How can we do this? Buy me That's a... That's got him all frisky. Right? Creepy. Yeah. Buy me a phone, lol. Joking. Ha <laughs> ha, I have an iPhone. 4S that I don't use. I'd give it to you if I could, hint hint. <laughs> Aw, thanks. I get an upgrade in like three weeks. At least by my birthday. How do you take pics if you don't have a phone? I had a phone. I broke it. Well, two of them. And the pics are on my SD card. So you can't take a pic of yourself right now, right this second, if you wanted to? Nope. One of the other reasons I got in trouble. But I've been really good lately, so my mom is willing to give me another chance. Well, because I had an idea. Plus, my dad wants pics of me too. I want to believe it's you and the pics, but obviously I can't. Because, well, you know, you could be anyone. So I was going to say, take a selfie holding up four fingers below your face, then I would know it's really you. Ha <laughs> ha, the chances of you... <laughs> I know, I have to... He does ha ha, like he actually types out ha ha, and I can't stop myself from doing the guy from Harvey Birdman. <laughs> ha ha! I know. I can't funny. stop my... I'm trying to stop myself, but I can't, so I think I'm just going to lean into it. Just lean into I'm now, it. I'm now imagining <laughs> Jeff Sokol as played by the guy from Harvey Birdman. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> The chances of you already having this pick is so slim, so I would know it's really you if you took it like that. No offense. I really want to believe it's you, but I can't based on past experience online. See, I'm telling you, I don't have any I don't have any proof of this, but this guy's been talking to kids. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Can, can you borrow a friend's phone to take that selfie from me? You are more freaked out than you said I was. Not freaked out. Just don't trust anyone online. I hope it's you, because I like you. <coughs> I'll ask, but honestly, I'm not getting into trouble for you. My mom finally trusts me. You won't get in trouble. I like that. What? Then my mom trusts me again. So if you use your friend's phone, and they send it to you, then you can send it to me. How, how else would your mom find out? You could delete it after. Thanks for trying. I really appreciate it. Smiley face emoji. You better be real. If you're actually someone who is doing this for my dad, that's pretty fucked up. I am real, and I can prove it. So am I. I was willing to if you had a cam. So, I was just trying to think outside the box. I believe you, but I can't due to past experience. I just need confirmation. Sorry again, it's not personal. Can I ask you a personal question? Okay. What happened to you that made you so paranoid? It's not like that. I have used the internet a long time. I have just known over the years that people aren't always who they say they are. It's simple. There's nothing that happened. You know, except probably for some kid he got busted for. Yeah. That's like everywhere, though. You still there? Online, it's easier to disguise yourself. So that's my main point, Bailey. Oh, you know what? I bet he met one of them predator-catching groups. Oh, I, I wouldn't be surprised. Oh, oh, God, I wish there was video of that. Your situation is unique in that you can't turn on your camera like most can to verify. It's really simple to do. So that's why I was trying to figure out another way. Sorry, my mom wanted to me to help her get some stuff out of the car. Hit me up later. I have to get ready for dance. Sure. One thing before you go. The reason I care so much to verify you and see you is because I think you're special and I like you. If you were just some other random chick with nothing to offer, I, would be, I wouldn't be so concerned or eager to see you. Smiley face emoji. You are extremely beautiful. Smiley face emoji. Talk soon. Wow, thank you. That made me smile. Good. Don't forget it. Smiley face emoji. Smiley face emoji. <laughs> hey, cutie. What's up, Bailey? 
Hey, Jeff, what's up? Is it all right calling you cutie, haha? Huh? Well, yeah, it's nice to hear. What you doing? Anything good? Helping getting stuff ready for dinner. What about you? Work, then gin, then dinner. I work out at home. What do you do at the gym? My mom got a treadmill and bike for us. All kinds of stuff. Weights, cardio, I box sometimes. You know, you know, you look at Jeff when he walked in that house, you know, he wasn't the least physically fit man in the world or anything, but I don't think he's the gym rat he's kind of portraying here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Are you, like, super into health? Nah. Good. Why? Ha! Ha! <laughs> I love that. I really do. I hate those people. They're always talking about what not to eat. Yeah, fuck them. How tall are you? 5'2". You? 5'9". Tall guy. Love your body. Gotta say, let me guess, you're 110? 112, low. Oh my god, I was so close. Ha ha! <laughs> <laughs> Do I win a prize? Pizza and burgers are my diet. You're slim, so no worries. <laughs> you can have a prize. What would it be? Pizza, low. <laughs> and I'm going to noisily slurp it while I eat it. <laughs> sure. Or can I take you for burgers sometimes, smiley face emoji? I'd like that. But I'm not one of those fake hoes that are all like, oh, give me a salad. I want the whole cheeseburger. Have you ever been to California? Yes. Ever hear of a place called In-N-Out? Yep. Love it. Too bad we don't have it here. OMG. Double, double, and animal fries. Yeah, I miss it. I miss California. I like Fat Burger, too. I never ate there, but I did at Tommy's. We have Tasty Burger in Boston, which is okay. I haven't found a great place here yet. I want to see Boston. It's in our history book a lot. Well, I'm not too far. Maybe you can sometime. I will show you. I'd like that. Oh, before I forget. Yes? Sends uh, the verification pic he requests. Wow, you did it for me? How'd you do that? Yeah, I told you I'd ask. It's just that I barely met these girls, so I don't tell them my business. So, I just said I wanted a pic of me at school. That's great. I like it. Your hands are cute. I always look at hands on a girl. Well, I mean, when you're hungry for hands, only hands will satisfy. <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> only hands will satisfy. Chris answers like, well, what are you, what's wrong with you? He goes, well, I kill people and eat hands. It's two things. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking llamas. It's something that can turn me off. Aha. I'm a nail polish freak. I like solid colors. Hate French manicure. Ha ha! <laughs> I get those sometimes. But I like the shape of your nails. <laughs> we are so going into really weird territory. <laughs> Look, ignore the nails. Focus on the hoof. <laughs> The hoof is what's it's important. Hoof. It's the hoof. The hoof is the important thing, Jeff. I like the shape of your nails. They're healthy looking and attractive. Smiley face emoji. Thank you. Don't get French. It looks tacky. Like you're trying too hard. Ha! Ah! ah! I'm telling you, I am an expert. <laughs> Any solid color. <laughs> Send me a pic of your nails and I will, and I'll decide to agree or not. <laughs> Smiley face emoji. Smiley face emoji. Hey, I have to go eat dinner. Are you going to be on later? Maybe, but I'll try if you want. Does that mean you want to talk again? Sh shocked face. Later tonight? Yeah, I want to talk to you. Is that cool? I don't want to bother you. Yes, it is. But I want to talk to you about that because I have some mixed emotions. Okay. You don't bother me. What time is good? 11 p.m.? Yeah, I don't have school tomorrow. Nice. Okay, talk to you later. 
Hey. Okay, the next day. Hey there. Hey you. I'm trying to free up space on my MacBook. Lol. Lol. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. So let me ask you something. Okay. I realize this is a loaded question. It might be tough for you to answer. But besides being your friend on here, chat buddy, or whatever you want to say I am, what do you ultimately want out of me? Space question mark. You're just a weird guy. Right. Anyway. <laughs> right? It's like, this is what, four days of them talking about basically nothing except are you real? And then it's like, so, I mean, are we trying to be together forever on this thing? And, and you know what's funny? I, I'm picturing him, like, laying across his bed. Total, like, teen girl style, right? Yeah. Tw twirling his hair and, like, you ankles know. Ankles in the air. Yeah, and, yeah. like, you know, running his other hand across the bedspread. Just like, gee, you know, what do you want out of this? Like, what do you want us to be? Like, I, I, I that's what pops Pigtails in my head. Pigtails and all. I, I cannot help what pops in my head, so. <laughs> We're weird. We are. <laughs> I don't know. I really haven't thought about it. I like talking to you. What about you? Not sure, but uh, I am afraid of the fact that I am so attracted to you, Bailey. <laughs> afraid? Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm scared. I'm scared. <laughs> and that's not good. <laughs> oh, God. Is he going to give a speech about... about uh, <laughs> tying for you in a reasonable circumstance. God, I hope so. <laughs> I'm sorry, Jeff. I don't want to make... I don't want to make make you feel bad. It's not you. It's the fact you're 14. So get old, up, bitch. <laughs> I think you're cute, too. I shouldn't be attracted to you. It's not right. I am so much older. Oh, is he totally doing, like, the arm against the forehead? Like, oh, yeah. Um it's it's the full on drama queen. Yes. Yep. You can just hear the you can just hear the music building to a crescendo. Yeah. Perfect. Maybe it maybe lightning crashing in the background. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. Again though, it's not your fault. It's just the situation. Is it okay to say thank you for saying I'm pretty? You are tempting, lol. Yes, why do you ask? Because it's nice to hear. But I don't want to make you feel bad about telling me. We're just chatting. Yes, I know. But the fact that we have an attraction and the age difference sort of scares me, lol. Do you see what I mean? As a 44-year-old guy, I shouldn't be talking to a 13-year-old girl like this. Yet, I want to. Oh, this is... You, oh, you God, this guy's got Lord's freaking... A hallmark brain. This is he, this is some demented rom com <laughs> story in his mind. Hey, you you need to say the last line again with more of a. Yet, I want to. Oh, Just, yet, I want to. <laughs> perfect, perfect. <laughs> My God, I can't wait till the movie comes out. <laughs> And you cue, <laughs> cue the montage to some upbeat 90s rock. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, I can understand. I guess I just never thought it was so bad talking to someone if you like them. It's not bad. It's just not normal, I guess. I don't understand why it's anyone's business if we want to talk. You're right. I guess I'm just feeling guilty. And I probably shouldn't. Yeah, it's that, it's that he's got a bout of felon's guilt. Yeah. And it damn sure isn't anyone's business if I think you are cute. Of course. I don't want to make you feel guilty. I'd feel like a douche. So, if you don't want to talk, just let me know so I don't bother you. I really appreciate you sending me that pic earlier, but I'm still not 100% sure about you. I'm sorry. I realized that the first pic you sent me the other day also had four fingers. So now I'm wondering, maybe she has a bunch of those pics. Ha! Ah! The whole point of asking you to hold up four fingers was to ask you to do something unusual. So that I know the pic that you're taking would be genuine. And that you were talking is just for me. Now, I'm inclined to ask you to do it once more. But doing something even more unusual. 
You are one fucking weird ass dude. I don't know. Just, yes, she has fingers. Oh my god. Just to convince myself it's you. I hope you're not mad at me. I'm not doing that. It was embarrassing enough today. And honestly, I'm not willing to work that hard for someone who doesn't even know if they want to talk to me. Bailey, that's incorrect. I want to talk to you. It's cool. There are lots of people we can both talk to. I really want to talk to you. I guess you don't understand. Maybe I'm not explaining it. I like you a lot. All in saying. I guess not. But honestly, Jeff, we hardly even talk about fun things or getting to know each other things. We can. I'm sorry, Bailey. Maybe I'm overthinking. It's am I me. And I'm sorry I broke my phone twice. And I don't take millions of selfies. I honestly hate my pics. I don't want to have doubts about whether you are the girl I think you are. I hope to God you are. I think you are amazing. Remember you said you thought I might be someone that knows your dad and you were paranoid about it? I think you are too. I don't know what else to say. I like talking to you. You were the first guy who knew in and out. That was awesome. Yeah, I remember. I mean, that is the basis of a relationship. You know a fast food joint. That's how we I met. I mean, that, that, that is literally how we <laughs> met. My goodness. Fuddruckers. <laughs> yep. Oh my gosh. That's what first attracted me to. You smell like burgers and bacon and fries. Yep. And then I smell like pizza. Yeah. Now I smell like subs. Yeah. If you ever get a non-food related job, we're in trouble. <laughs> well, I have a similar paranoia. Unless I can verify it's you, I keep thinking, what if she is really someone who is undercover and trying to nail online predators who talk to minors? No, Jeff. There is no chance that that is the case. No. No, buddy. Come on. You're just being paranoid. There's. Come on. Come on, Jeff. <laughs> I think I'm too young to have a job like that. Yeah, see, she's only 13. She can't have a job <laughs> like that. Come on, Jeff. <laughs> That's not my point. My fear is that it's not you. That it's someone in law enforcement looking to nail someone. You know, I could be put in jail if the police found out we were intimate. We are just chatting. Yes, I know. But I'm just saying, I know this sounds crazy to you. How the hell would the police know anything? Only time that happens is if someone says something. Last time, my mom got called by the school cop because I told a girl if she didn't shut the fuck up about my friend, I swore I'd never talk to another cop. If you took one more pick, crossing two fingers, holding them under your face, I would believe it's you, smiley face. Edit. If she didn't shut the fuck up, I'd kick her ass. I don't know, Jeff. I'll think about it. Okay. Let's chat more and get to know each other. I don't want to spend my days talking to a guy who keeps questioning me. You're right. You shouldn't. Maybe if we get to know each other more, you might consider doing that one last favor for me. Okay. Bailey, listen. Question mark. The only way the police would know if we ever got intimate is if someone saw us together or you told the police. That shit happens. Not by me. Fuck that. I don't know why you would tell the police, but theoretically you could. Shit happens. So could you. Is all I'm saying. I wouldn't because I'm the only one who would get in trouble with the law. You wouldn't, lol. You might get in trouble at home, but not with the law. I don't know which is worse. Ha! Ah, ha! Okay. Going to jail or going to your room? I'd rather go to your room. Lo, I don't go to my room, Haz. I'm pretty sure my mom is low-key part Nazi. It was a metaphor for explaining getting in trouble at home. Anyway, Bailey Bailey. So, get to know me. Ask me something. Jeff, Jeff, do you have kids? Nope. Me either. Your turn. Are there any guys at school you like? That was a joke, by the way. Yeah, I get it. Ha ha! I'm not an edito, idiot lol. 
No, I just started like four weeks ago. And lots of people don't get my humor. So tell me again about this girl you wanted to fight. Why? Ugh, that thought. Okay, so my friend liked this guy that the other girl liked. And have you ever heard of the Burn Book app? No. Okay, well, it's an app that lets you talk shit about anyone at your school anonymously. Ha <laughs> ha! Okay. Like, like, each school has a section. So that hoe started saying my friend was DTF anyone anywhere. DTF? Down to fuck DTF. Hey, freaking boomer. Yeah, I figured it out before you explained it. Lol, right before. Lol, okay. So then the guy, like a fucking idiot, believes it and all these guys are lying saying they got with her and she was crying and wanting to leave the school. So I got mad. Was this in Cali? Yeah. Okay. I just moved here in the beginning of August. Okay. So, that's it. So, wait. I'm not really a mean person. What did you say to her? I don't like my friend's hurt. I said, hey, you stupid bitch who has been thirsty for every guy here. Your ugly ass has to make up lies to get a guy because you're too fucking ugly to just get one. If you ever try talking shit, even on Burn Book, you fake bitch, I'll kick your ass so hard you'll move schools. So I got sent home and the campus cops called my mom. Did you say it to her face? Um, yeah. Good. At school. The cop heard, teachers heard, kids heard. Heard you yelling at her? Well, some kids were like, damn Bailey, we thought you were super quiet. Yes, I yelled at her in front of a classroom in the commons. Love it. You're a little badass. But they didn't see my friend cry. I did, and I didn't like it. Only when I protect people I care about. And the cop wouldn't listen to me. That seriously made me mad. Well, of course. <laughs> Lol. So, how awful do I seem now? At school, usually the cop is going to take the side with the less aggressive person. You're not awful. I told you, I don't judge. Neither do I. Good. I like that you stand up for your friends. Thank you. I thought it was funny you said it. It was awesome. I'm the only person who knows in and out, smiley face. It's because your peers at schools would never know about it because they haven't traveled. I'm older, so I've been places. Ha! Ha! But I'm, I'm glad you think it's awesome. Thank you for spelling out how completely idiotic and stupid you are. Duh! Maybe he turned this portion over to an AI. Maybe. No, no, no. Lauren's AI is fantastic. Lauren's so. AI is fantastic. <laughs> Even the people I talked to on Wire Club who said they've been to California didn't know in and out Well, they're losers. Yep. Okay, do I get another question? Of course, anytime. Do you think reading books is fun or for losers? Losers! 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 <laughs> well, I didn't read when I was in high school. I fucked around, lol. But I think reading's important to build knowledge and practicing comprehension, especially at a young age. That's his way of saying, I think it's for losers, but you like it, so... Reading can be fun, but Hang I think... On. Oh. She, she has... She perpe her perplexed face. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> reading can be fun, but I think it's essential for knowledge. I love reading, but not for knowledge. Even if you're not having fun reading, it's still great for you. Uh, <laughs> actually, it says faux ru. <laughs> I like reading for fun. I read for knowledge, lol. I make myself read stuff. <laughs> like signs. Yeah. <laughs> I read for stories, lol. I read news and opinion articles. I don't, I don't really books. But I'm <laughs> glad you read. It's great. Thank God you don't really books. I, I really books. <laughs> I really books. I really books more than you. Yeah, you really books more than me. It's not nerdy. Nope. Some people your age might think so, but they are immature. 
Yeah. Ask me more stuff. That's another reason I don't talk to many guys at school. Smiley face. Because you are way more mature? Yeah. I believe it. Yeah, I believe that I might be more mature than 13-year-old boys. <laughs> I mean, if you heard me at work, you wouldn't think so. <laughs> I've heard the stories, dear. Yeah. What do you talk about with dudes on wire? If they're nice, we talk about whatever we have in common. Or just random stuff. I was surprised you gave me your Skype so soon. Hello, I hardly go on Wire Club. And I really wanted to talk to you. And you don't have kick. Was I different from other dudes on Wire? Yeah, kind of. You seem to actually pay attention to what I was saying. And he probably wasn't asking about her feet, just about her fingernails. Yeah. Do you give your kick to guys on wire? Not anymore. Well, one guy just kept bugging me. So, I'm way more careful. I don't really go in chats. I'm mostly I Pinterest, lol. Okay. What about you? Do you talk to lots of girls on wire club? Go on sometimes when I'm bored. Yeah, a few. That's cool. What impresses you in a guy? He has to be smart and fun. He can't be fake. So you mean genuine? Duh. You won't yeah. get... Huh? Sorry, I said I said oh. duh. And now I have to say yeah. what she said. Yeah. You won't get more genuine than Jeff. <clears throat> Smiley face. Smiley face. I tell it like it is, and I'm blunt. Good or bad, I speak my mind. And sometimes I slurp pizza while I do it. My mom says she isn't Willy Wonka. She won't sugarcoat shit. I'm like that. Good. Your mom sounds great, too. Ha! Ha! She has her moments. My brother lives in Cali. My dad thinks she's a bitch. She says he's Satan. Sounds like a great marriage, lol. They're divorced. Oh. That's why we moved. So you live with your mom? And moving is why I broke my phone, lol. Yeah, just me and her. So where is your dad? California still. What town? Los Angeles. Okay. You live in Bridgeport now? Near there, in Fairfield. I have a buddy in that area. Really? Did he tell you it sucks here? Ha! Ah, ah! No, he is from there. It's different if you come from Cali. Come on, you know that. Just different environment growing up. It's supposed to snow forever here. Yuck. Kids who are from Connecticut won't say it sucks because that's all they know. Why'd your mom choose Fairfield? Work. She isn't even sure if we'll stay here or move to New York. What does she do? So, we're trying things here. She works in investments and finance. But why the drastic move across the country? Couldn't she stay in Cali and do that job? She got offered a lot of money. Nice. And she gets to travel. So she leaves you alone? It was one more thing to piss my dad off about. Well, we've only been here about two months. She doesn't go away all the time. When she travels, will she leave you home alone? For short trips, yeah, if I can't go. Has she done it yet in Connecticut? Yeah, when she went to Atlanta. How old is she? Well, you want to date her? Laughing my ass off. No. Yeah, she's probably way too old for Jeff. She's 49. Older than I thought. I was a surprise to them. Like a mistake? Ouch. Come on, lol. Yes, I'm a mistake. You know what I mean. Told you I'm blunt. No harm, though, smiley face. So you were unintentional, space question mark. He has this thing where he, where he likes to put a space yeah. for the question mark. It's weird. Yeah. Yeah. But you are a princess. So lovely. Thanks, smiley face. Your precious little princess. I can't believe you're 13. You sound older. I'm turning 14. I know, I mean you're smart. Mature. So you seem older. 
I guess because everyone on was a, on was around was older. I. Yeah, I guess, I guess because everyone I was around. People in Cali that you hang out with? My family and a lot of my friends. What age were they friends? My friend Laura, the one I stood up for, we hung out with her brother and his friends. They were 17 to around 25. How old is Laura? My age. Okay. Was that her in the pic you sent? No. That was today. She's in Cali. No, I meant the pic you sent the other day. You and another girl. Oh, no. That's Allie. She emailed me that pic from last weekend when I was in Rhode Island. What were you doing there? Seeing my aunt. Who's Allie? Hey, I was supposed to go to Boston to meet my aunt. But she stayed at her friend's and I went with her there. Allie is my aunt's friend's daughter. Okay, wait. Where does your aunt live? Arizona. She went to Boston and Vermont for her job. Okay. Do you have any people in Boston? Space question mark, lol? Nope. Everyone is West Coast. Hey, you know what? Space question mark. <laughs> <laughs> you got me, smiley face. Huh? I'm in Boston, so you got me in Boston. Ha ha! I was trying to be cute. Lol. That's cute in a dorky way. Now you have people in Boston. Well, person. Ha ha! Ha ha! I still want to have burgers with you. Did you say you have a brother in California? Yes, San Francisco. And yes, they're burgers. Love burgers. I went there last year. Nice. Me too. What's your favorite food? Everything. Nope. Pick one, two, and three. Lol. Oh my god, choices. Bring it. Come on, Bailey. You can do it. Okay. Hamburger, pizza, and tacos, hot wings, enchiladas, fried chicken, and egg rolls. That's three, smoothie face. I hate when people say hot wings, lol. It's buffalo wings. Get it right. You're on the East Coast now. Ha ha! It's not made out of buffalo, lol. Hot wings originated in buffalo, that's why. But they're yummy. Now, hot sauce. It's called buffalo sauce in some places. Or salsa, if you come from my family, lol. And yes, they are yummy, because boneless buffalo wings are my favorite food. Oh my god, I love the boneless ones. Why salsa? My mom's family is part Mexican and Salvadorian. Oh man, I'd love to eat with them. Oh man. I, I they, know. I bet they got pupusas. Okay. I can't stop eating donuts, lol. That's my other fave. I'm getting fat. I ate a bag of Rolo Minis and cereal for dinner yesterday. You better watch out. You're a girl. Girls get fat easier. Ha ha! Don't get fat. It's not pretty. He's such a dick. Yeah, he's just a dickhead. God, and he, he tries to play it off by being... He thinks he's charming, I think. I know. the best. <laughs> that's the best way to describe Jeff Sokol. He's just a dickhead. <laughs> Lol, shut the fuck up. <laughs> I'm in dance and workout every day. What kind of dance? I can eat some candy. Ballet and jazz. Will you teach me? Sure. Ballet. I can't dance. Well, not ballet. Why not? You'd look cute in a dance outfit, lol. Do you know any male ballet dancers? In California, I did. Do they have a penis? Ballet's for girls. <laughs> yes. Dance is for anyone. Oh my god, you're lame. It's for anyone. But guys hardly ever do ballet. Such a small percentage. Because they're afraid. Yeah, stigma. Being judged, not worth it. Yeah, and that's stupid if people judge. Gay athletes are only starting to come out in men's sports. It's still very new. Same reason, being judged. But they got past it. 
What is what is he go doing with this? I, I On the one hand, he's saying he can't do ballet because it's not manly enough, but on the other hand, he's criticizing people for thinking it's not manly enough. Like, what is he doing here? I don't... Did, did he just suddenly read the room and he's like, oops? Maybe. Yeah. My parents told me that people are always going to talk shit, so I need to do what makes me happy and fuck everyone else. They are right, but... I have gay family and friends. I don't care if they are gay. I love them for who they are. A 13-year-old boy who does ballet could be dangerous because of what his peers might say to him. At 13, you don't have the confidence of a 30 that a 30-year-old has. Yeah, we had to have bullying talks at school. Anyway, this is stupid. Ballet is mainly a girl activity. Let's stop. Well, see, I don't get this. It's like he's making both sides of the argument. Yeah, it's... he's. It's weird. It is weird. Jeff, you're a dickhead. Yes. That's that's going to be my thing the whole rest of this chat is just calling him a dickhead. Low. Next. I like ballet. I got nothing against it. Okay, we both like hot wings. Oh, I'm not calling them buffalo. Whatever. And burgers. Low. You're getting fat eating a million donuts. Yes. And I dance girly dances. There is a donut on my counter that I want to eat right now, but I'm trying not to. What kind? Coconut. Ew. Oh my god, so good. From Dunkin'. They have the best donuts. Have you ever had Krispy Kreme? Yeah, of course. But we don't have many here. I could eat a whole box. Oh, that does sound good. Yeah, no, this is kind of making my fat ass hungry. <laughs> so I don't use them in the comparison. And they're different. Dunkin' doesn't serve hot donuts. I grew up on Dunkin' Donuts, so I love them. And have no regrets. Yes, Krispy Kreme is good, but... Krispy Kreme has hot donuts, too. I said Dunkin' doesn't. Oh. Okay. Think Krispy Kreme is better, though. We need a donut contest. Well, Krispy Kreme glazed donut is awesome, but the other varieties are not nearly as good as Dunkin' variety of flavors. I never had Dunkin'. What about you? Which do you prefer? I, In the grand scheme of things, I do prefer Dunkin' Donuts, but I will say nothing beats a Krispy Kreme glazed donut. Uh... Krispy Kreme definitely wins with the glazed. Everything else goes to Dunkin'. Yeah. Though, my That's fat ass do. wants us to go and get, like, half a dozen of each and just do a comparison test. Or we could just go to Dunkin' and get a dozen. <laughs> Let's do that. Yeah. God, I want donuts so bad now. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Okay, continue. Continue torturing me with the donuts. Okay, here we go. Butternut. Jelly. Boston cream. Coconut, chocolate crawler, those are some of the best, and I am fucking addicted. The chocolate sounds okay, but ew on coconut. Agree. Agree. I don't even eat chocolate that often. I prefer cake and donuts. Muffins. I like pie more than cake and muffins. Oh my god, I'm hungry. What the fuck? Me too. But I'm too lazy to go downstairs. What does your mom think you're doing? Hopefully she thinks I'm sleeping. I have to go to the doctor tomorrow, so I'm sure she'll be checking. Would she flip out if she knew you were talking to a 44-year-old guy? Nah, not at all. Okay, nah, she'd be fine. cool with it. Happens every day. You fucking dickhead. Hey, you dickhead. I think she would be like, Beer Bailey? Seriously? What the fuck? But... She says that when I talk to any guy. Yeah, it wouldn't be. She wouldn't flip out anymore. Yeah. Yeah, but this is different. Yeah, I think she wouldn't like it, but it's not her business. It's practically illegal. That's why she wouldn't. Yeah, it's practically illegal. Just, she would, just, she, just the hair on the legal side. That's all. It's yeah. Fine. Actually, well, I mean, I guess technically he really hasn't gotten anything illegal yet. Yeah. Yeah. She would think I'm a creep talking to you. I don't think you're a creep. 
So would any of my friends. They would be like, what the fuck, dude? Would your friends think I was one? No, they wouldn't care who you were. But they wouldn't be happy knowing I was talking to a 13-year-old. They would find it weird. Really? What? I guess his friends aren't dickheads, at least. Yeah. What was the youngest and oldest you ever talked to? No idea. I have had sex with a 23-year-old two years ago, but nothing younger in a while. I only had sex with a 17... That's oh, me. That's, that's you. I only had sex with a 17-year-old. That's why he says nothing younger in a while. Yeah. That's yeah. disturbing. Well, I had sex with many girls, but I'm older. Yeah? So you a thought? That only applies to kids. Hello? No, it doesn't. Once you become an adult, sleeping around is more common. Trust me. I mean, yes, there are sluts, but... The amount of guys would be different if you're comparing a 30-year-old slut to a 14-year-old. If a 14-year-old girl slept with three guys in one month, would you call her a slut? I don't think having sex is a big deal. I mean, if you're binging everything, ew. But if it's just two people who wants to, it's no biggie. I was just teasing about the thought. I know, smiley face, but can you answer my last question? If they went to the same school, yeah. Ha <laughs> ha, okay. So my point is, if a 30-year-old girl sleeps with three guys in a month, no one cares and no one labels her. It's just more acceptable. It's much different as a kid because three means a lot more to them than to a 30-year-old. I don't, I don't, I don't technically agree with that. I don't know. I, I, he's, he's making a point that for adults, you know, I don't know. I don't really, I can't really say what his point is. I, I kind of think he means because nobody really cares what an adult does, which is true. I mean, if you want to go out and sleep with a bunch of guys as an adult, fine. But not, but kids are more judgy, I guess, is his point. But, uh, we you know, on the Maury show... <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think I've watched too much Maury. Yeah, I think to... I've, got, I've watched too much Maury. <laughs> Just to make it clear, if you're a woman and you sleep with three guys a month, you're fine. You can be our friend and we like you. Yes. Yes. Just... <laughs> just saying, we, we, we watched a lot of Maury. We just watch a lot of Maury. If I see you on the, if I see you on your fifth appearance on the Maury show, and you still haven't found your baby daddy, I'm just saying I'm going to laugh at you as you go running off the stage to cl to cry on the couch. After screaming at all three men that they know they the baby daddy. Yeah. They know they are. Yeah. To each of them. It's so great. Make your choices, but just know when you're on the Maury show, I will laugh at you. Yes. Okay. Uh, but to be fair, we would also laugh at each other if we ended up on there. So yeah, just, oh. we're 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 judgmental all around. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Let's I see. think it's because older people don't go around telling everyone. This is probably that's some, probably some truth to that too. That's also true, and people don't find out. Adults do their own thing. It's their business. At school, one person finds out, and then the whole school knows. Yep, that's why I don't tell my business to anyone. But if I knew an adult girl who fucked three guys this month, I wouldn't call her a slut. No, he'd be sitting there going, what's her phone number? Yeah, right. Because <laughs> that's not really that many. If it was ten, then yes, maybe. Yeah. Why no school? Jewish holiday? Yeah, we didn't get those off in California. More Jews in Connecticut. I guess. Well... It's more concentrated here. In L.A., there are Jews, but spread out, because it's so many people. Yeah, that's true. But you will take it. I'm Jewish. Hell yeah. But I have to go to the doctor anyhow. For what? I get really bad bloody noses for no reason. Okay, that sucks. My mom wants to see what can help. Do you have a gynecologist? What? What? It's... Seriously, do you know how many blouses got fucked up already? Uh, a what? Oh, he, he put G-Y-N. I just said gynecologist. Do you have a G-Y-N? A what? Gynecologist. Oh, the OBG. Nope. So you're going to see your prime... What? Is... <laughs> oh, wait, wait. Hey. It continues, okay. Yeah. So you're going to see your primary? Yeah, 
I'm bleeding out of my nose. Not down there. You should ask him for birth control prescription. Ha ha! He can still give it. Primary can do anything. Well, I already take them since last year. Oh, really? Yeah. Pills? Yeah. Sweet. Ha ha! Well, I'm not risking babies just in case I meet someone. I have to go to bed. Okay. We can chat more tomorrow, smiley face. Or whenever. I like chatting with you, Bailey. But I still want to have burger with you sometime, smiley face. More fun. I like chatting with you too, Jeff. Hit me up whenever. That way I don't bug you. Okay, but listen. I want one too. You can drop me a note anytime. You're not bugging me. If I say I'm busy, it's still nice to hear from you. You're my friend. I'd love to hear from you. Okay. I just don't want to get on your nerves. I respect that. But I can do that if you're cool with it. But as long as you know, I am busy a lot and it's fine. Okay. Use your own discretion. You're a big girl, smiley face. Smiley face? You're almost 14. Fuck it. You're an adult. Yep. Is that how it works? <laughs> what? Someone should have told Lauren that. Right? <laughs> ha ha! I'm, a, I'm more mature than a lot of people your age. Yep, I like you a lot. I like you too. You're chill. Thanks. You're welcome. You make me smile. I'm glad. That just made me smile. I'm, I'm more than chill, smiley face. Oh, really? I want to find out. I like getting to know you. Awesome. Next time. You will have to find out... On your, it's fun getting to know someone. You will have to find out on your, it's fun getting to know someone. Oh, well, don't let the moment ruin your grammar. <laughs> I, I can't just give you a list, you know. Ha ha. Hello, I know. Okay, night night. Good night, winky face, sweet dreams. Thanks, you too, smiley face. One more thing. Yeah? I am dead serious. I really think you are one of the prettiest girls i ever seen. If you only knew how that makes me smile. Honest. No one really said that and meant it. But they said it. Only for their own reasons. Well, I feel it. I speak it. I know it. <laughs> That's going on a Hallmark card. <laughs> Thank you. You make my heart smile. No, no, that's just gas. That's just gas, <laughs> Bailey. That's great. Good night, Bailey. Good night, Jeff. Have a good day tomorrow. Thank you, you too. Happy holiday. I'm sorry, I don't really know what it is. Thank you, no worries. Didn't expect you to. Next day. Hi, Jeff. I just wanted to say good night. Talk to you soon. Nice to hear from you. Thank you. I'm doing some work, but you're going to bed early, smiley face. Well, I was at the doctor for a while today. No nap. Ha ha ha. Aw. Any diagnosis? They took blood and said my weight is good. My mom said they want to rule things out. Is bloody nose the only symptom? No. Like super bad bloody noses and more than one a week. Oh, I'm sure it's bad. When are they going to get back to you? I don't know. Guess soon. Well, let me know, smiley face. I will. Thanks. If you need to sleep, it's okay. I can let you go. But I want to tell you that I was thinking about you today. The doctor said I should eat a burger. Why? Space question mark lol. I thought about you too. I wanted to message, but didn't want to because I know how worried you are about us talking. Oh, and lo, he didn't say that. I just want a burger still. Ha <laughs> ha, okay. But listen, I want you to understand something. I'm not worried about us talking or how often we talk or when we talk. Oh, okay, smiley face. If I was that concerned, I wouldn't talk to you at all. I made a decision to talk to you. Even though most adults would think I'm crazy or creepy or pushing my luck, again, that's not an insult to you. It's the age thing, of course, but as I said. 
I guess some people would say the same thing to me. I am okay. They might, but for different reasons. I just like talking to you. Okay, but do you think about meeting me, space question mark? I like that you are chill. Are you buying food? Ha ha! Of course, but I don't want you to meet me to get a free lunch, lol. <laughs> LMAO, I have babysitting money. And if we ever wanted to meet, I think it would be cool. I think if we kick it on here... Oh, I lost my spot. Sorry. Okay. And get along then, yeah, if you did. But if not, then just here is cool too. So if we meet and we went out for burgers, do you understand why other adults will look down on me? I really want you to understand this. People are going to think that I'm with you because I want you. That it looks like I'm a pedophile. You I'm, are. Yeah, right? I'm just saying we would need to be careful. If anyone sees us or knows we're together, they could potentially report me to the cops. How would they know you aren't, like, my brother? Unless we're, like, telling random strangers our business. Yeah, I'm, she's got a point here. If you saw a 44-year-old man and a 14-year-old girl going to Red Robin or something for burgers, your first thought wouldn't be there's a pedophile and his girlfriend. No. Unless they were acting like boyfriend and girlfriend. Then you'd be like, what the fuck is up with those people? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Someone's got a guilty mind. Yes, I agree. But someone who might know one of us might see us together and not tell us. I'm just saying it could happen. I went for pizza with my friends all the time, and no one questioned me. Nobody would question us. Yeah, I guess so. Maybe people are different here than California. But all it takes is one person to go to the cops. Theoretically, the cops could put a private investigator on me and try and nail me if I was intimate with you. I don't think the cops need to put a private investigator on someone. I think they've got their own people. Yeah? Yeah. I'm just being cautious about it. Anyway, I want you to understand my point, that's all. It doesn't mean I don't want to meet you. I'm just expressing myself. I get that. Pretty much. And I like you. I don't want to make you feel creeped out. That's why I didn't message earlier. I didn't want to make you feel like you have to talk to me. But again, that's not the point. I don't think you get it. I do. You don't want cops getting us or you in trouble. I don't want that either. It's wor it's worrying about the consequences of potentially getting caught with a minor, which is against the law. I understand. You know, Jeff, I'm just throwing this out there. There's an easy way to not run afoul of the police for meeting up with a minor. It's a very easy way to not run afoul of them. Oh, oh, I know this one. Is it, um, is it sneak around in the dark and doing a lot of quick turns to get away from the possible private investigators following you? As long as you're also in a white truck with gray on the bottom, yes. <laughs> That's the easy way to do it. Just watch a few episodes of The Duke's Hazard. <laughs> Nobody will know. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Okay, and then he just jumps. He, he Like, he goes to 100 here quick. If we're having sex, I'm not saying we are, lol. Just saying there is potential smiley face. Well, I'm not having sex for a cheap-ass burger, lol. Funny, I realize what romance is, Bailey. I'm not going to try and fuck you after I take you out for burgers, lol. Steak, maybe, lol. Lobster, for sure. He's writing Joking. that down. <laughs> nope. No sex, no matter what, lol. Well, I'm not sure how we went from burgers to sex and steak and lobster, but I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> that is my kind of girl. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Have you thought about meeting me, space question mark? I didn't at first. Then, after we talked a couple of days ago, I did then. Yesterday, I thought no. Why no? Because I didn't want to make you feel worried. I being realistic doesn't mean I don't want to meet you, though. Like I said. I'd rather just talk here. Okay. Then lose talking to you totally. We will talk, but at some point, I'm going to want to meet you. I don't need a Skype buddy, lol. Lol, 
I am an awesome buddy. But if we were both cool with it, I'd like to meet you too. I like talking to you. I interrupted my work for you. Smiley face. I don't do that for just anyone. Aw, I stayed awake for you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, too. When you thought about me today... <laughs> oh, God. No! No! Just no! <laughs> when you thought about me today, what were you thinking about specifically? What we were you thinking when you thought about me today? I can never escape him. <laughs> All right, Kayla. I wondered what you were doing and if you thought about me. I was thinking about you and wondering if you were thinking about me. Ha ha! And what it would be like to kiss you. I thought about that the first time I saw your pictures, lol. Oh my god, really? Smiley face? Lol. Hell yeah. A guy who is cute and tatted, for sure. Well, there are tons of those, lol. Well, uh, not really. Your pics are really nice. You look gorgeous. Thank you. I haven't heard such praise from you thus far, but I love it. Can I ask what makes me gorgeous? There's a pic of you, I don't know, like in the desert. You have a nice body and your grin. I like that. And your eyes look nice. And if you put it all together, it's wow. I'm like, wow, lol. Lol, yeah. See, Kayla didn't come up with these compliments for Lorne. <laughs> and I mean, that's peak masculinity. <laughs> oh, God, imagine his ego if she tried saying some of those things to him. <laughs> <clears throat> Everyone likes that pic of me in the desert. But it's actually on a beach. And you just seem super fucking cool to chill with. Like, not uptight. What beach? It's a place called Plum Island. It's in... Oh, shit. I'm, I'm awful. M.A. is what, Massachusetts? I think so. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Well, I know it's not, I know it's not Maine, because Maine is M.E. So, Massachusetts, I guess? Maybe. You can tell me in the comments how dumb I am for not knowing M.A. I'm done. We're terrible. Yeah, I, I recognize I'm stupid. You can let me know. <laughs> God, even beaches are way different than California, frowny face. Everything is different. Sleepy face. Oh no, what? Everything is different. What does that make you sleep? Lol, wrong emoji. What's wrong with being in a different place? I want you to embrace New England. It's your home now. Try and get used to it, smiley face. Don't compare it to California. Look, I know, I happen to know that in Maine is a beautiful place for her to visit. <laughs> God. Yes, it's the peak of gorgeousness. <sighs> There's nothing wrong, except... I just wasn't ready to say goodbye to everything and everyone. I'm sure. I know it's hard. You'll grow up faster by living in different places. It will teach you about the world, culture, societies. Yeah, that's what my mom said. Your mom is smart. I like her. Ha ha. Sometimes lol. Don't forget. Do you like sports? She was a teenager too. She was in your shoes at one point. I love sports. She didn't leave everything behind. Do you like hockey? Hells yeah. Me too. LA Kings? I used to go tons of games with my dad. Yeah, since I was like five. I follow all the Boston sports teams. My favorite is football. And now preseason started and no games for me. I like football a lot too. Hey, Bailey, you should go to bed. Oh, God, you probably like the Patriots, huh? And yes, I love the Patriots. Don't hate. Ugh, I'm going to bed. To be continued. Lol, flat balls. Whatever. Smiley face. Four Super Bowls. Debate over good night. Smiley face. Smiley face. By luck, deflation, and crap. <laughs> Listen. Good night, Jeff. 
Thanks for spending time talking to me. <laughs> I listen to a lot of sports radio, and I also have some friends who are haters regarding the Pats. I don't want another. It just gets old. Please don't be a hater. You're better than that. I realize so many people hate us, but please be respectful, smiley face. I just tease. My team sucks, but I can be happy for you. Thank you. Support me. Smiley face. You know, I'm not the world's biggest football fan or anything, but I've never seen Jeff Sokol's ass down on that field. Yeah, right. If you, if you can't beat him, join him. Good night, cutie. Good night, handsome. Let's see, next day. Wanted to let you know I was thinking about you, Bailey? Question mark. Weird. Yeah, weird. Hi, Jeff. I was thinking about you, too. Hope your day is doing good. You ever read at Shake Shack? Question mark. Nope. Is it good? Yeah, it's a burger and shake place. I had lunch there today, and I thought about you, of course. Do you like tomatoes on your burgers? Not really, but I would eat it. I hate onions. I don't like them, and I hate onion. I had a smokestack. Bacon, red peppers, and sauce. Oh, that sounds yummy. I don't know about the peppers. You don't eat vegetables, lol? Hello, cucumbers and lettuce. Love pickles. Lol, yeah, those too. We'll hit you up later. Think of some things you want to know about me, and then ask. Smiley face. Okay, you too. Smiley face. What's up? Next day. Happy Friday! Very happy emoji. Happy Friday. Sorry I didn't respond last night. I was asleep. It's okay. What you doing tonight? Not a lot. I think my mom is taking me to dinner. Fun, fun, fun. Very happy emoji. I want to take you to dinner. If you come to Boston, we have to get lobster. See, he remembers. Mm -hmm. I would love to. And even just for cheeseburgers, lol. Cheap date. Ha ha. <laughs> I just got done babysitting my mom's friend's kids. I hope you had a great day. I did. Played tennis at the club tonight. How are you, baba? I'm good. Tired, but good. I never played tennis. Been playing all my life. Did you think of something you want to ask me? I did, but then I was like, I sound so nosy. That's the whole point, lol. Okay. I want to know what your favorite thing to do at home is. <laughs> Jerk off. Talk to you on Skype. Same thing. <laughs> you just made me smile so big. Haha, <laughs> nice. Your smile is gorgeous. That's not gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous. It's gorgeous. It's yep. gorgeous. Your smile is gorgeous. Yeah. Thank you. So is yours. Come on. You must have more, Low. I thought we were taking turns. Oh, okay. Let's see. List of perfectly normal questions to ask somebody. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Do you trim your pussy? <laughs> Low. Yeah. Or do you not need to because you don't have much hair? Ha ha! Got your hairs. <laughs> <laughs> I have enough. Ha ha! Your turn. Have you ever done extreme sports? Not really. Done zipline. Would you ever? Depends. Which one? Skydiving. Fuck no. Hello? You want to, space question mark? Yeah. Good luck. Ziplining was enough. I always watched them do it in California. I did zipline in Vegas two years ago. I did it in New Hampshire. I was in Vegas last month. Really? It's boring except for Circus Circus and zipline. I love gambling and going to bars. Two things you can't do, so that's why it's boring. Yeah, probably. Your turn. Let's see, looking through my list of perfectly normal questions to ask a little girl. Do you masturbate? No, too fake. What? It's not like real sex. Well, of course, but everyone does it. I don't, lol. Yeah, you're just probably doing it right now. Maybe you're too young, lol. I think girls start later than guys, too. Probably. Did you win today? You what? 
Why, why, ya? Yeah? <laughs> That's no. what's actually written here. You are, and then why, why, ya? Yeah? <laughs> Low. Fuck, can't type. I'm in bed. <laughs> That's because you, you're not using both hands. Yeah, Try again. both hands on that there, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on a couch. When are you getting a smartphone? October 21st. Why so long? My birthday present. That's part of it. Can't you ask for an early birthday? I'm going to ask for it sooner, though, since it's an upgrade. Well, yeah. iPhone? My mom better not play me like that. No, Galaxy. Then we can do video chat. Yep. I can't wait. Ha ha! Me too. Then I can finally see your cute face for real. Yep, and I can see yours. Sure can. Would love that. Me too. So what are you going to do this weekend? Nothing really fun. My mom's dragging me shopping with her tomorrow. I like shopping for me, not for her. Selfish bitch. <laughs> <laughs> can't you get some stuff? Why can't you both shop? Yeah, she's getting me some stuff. She nerds more for her because she's going on another business trip and she wants new luggage and a couple outfits. Are you going with her? No. I thought I was, but I've missed too much school. When is it? She leaves Thursday and comes back Tuesday. So you'll stay home for five days yourself? No, just till Sunday afternoon. I'm going to my friend Laura's Sunday to Tuesday. Was Laura the friend in California? Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Is this the decoy mixing up the story a little bit? Maybe the decoy's an AI. <laughs> I should come see you on Saturday, lol. Lol, yeah, right. Would you really want to? Well, since your mom isn't home, it's the best time to do it. I would, but only if you want me to. That would be cool. But are we getting burgers? Yeah, I would. Sure. Yeah, you're chill. I like you. Thanks. Smiley face. Remember you said you would think about it when I asked you one more... Well, when I asked you to take one more pick with two fingers crossed, lol? Yeah, I guess I would owe you that. I can do it Monday. Would you really do it for me? Yeah, I would. I did the other. You just didn't believe me. That's why I got mad. I do, just not 100%. Okay. Smiley face emoji, I'm sorry. It's okay, I understand. Once you do this one with two fingers crossed, I will feel better and can move on. But at first I just thought you were being a dick. Oh no, he is. He's a dickhead. Not at all. And I will definitely come see you if you send that pic. Cool. Could I stay at your house? Sure. It's just me and her. Wanna watch movies? Wait, you and who? Me and my mom who live there. And she's gone. Right, okay. So I have the whole house to myself. But are you sure you're comfortable with me staying with you? Since you barely know me? Yeah. Unless you start being a dick about stuff. 100% he's gonna be a dick about stuff. Ha ha! But I really don't think you're that way. I'm not. I'm totally chill. Me too. Maybe I'll come down Friday night and leave Sunday. Okay, bring pizza, lol. Lol, you're gonna make me get pizza after driving three hours to see you, space question mark? Please, lol. Whatever works. Or we can go out and get it once I arrive. No, I can be nice and make you something, if you want. I can cook a couple things. Either way, no biggie. Seeing you is my main priority, smiley face. I'm excited to see you, too. We can watch movies, go for burgers on Saturday, and figure out Sunday. Or, oh, and figure out Saturday. Awesome. Do you like scary or funny movies? I like good movies. He couldn't hang out with us. No. Doesn't matter what type. No, no, we watch, we watch garbage horror movies all the time. It's fantastic. Yep. Yeah. The worse, the better. Cool. I don't go see stupid movies. See, you couldn't hang out with us. Nope. Me either. Or her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. No, him and his, him and his little 13-year-old girlfriend can go stay and eat burgers. Yeah. No. 
I just I just ones that interest me, even indie films. My dad watches those. Some are good. Awesome. I gotta go to bed. I am B beat. Lol, okay. Have a good night. You too. Smiley face emoji. Okay. Monday. Oh, you don't like watching then? Because it's still seeing someone hurt, even if they deserve it. I've been in two fights and felt bad after I kicked their ass. But it had to be done. Wish I see it. Lol. Scene. If we hit it off, when I meet you, I'm going to want to be intimate with you. Smiley face. Are you sure? Or just fucking with me? Of course I'm sure. I'm very attracted to you. How do you feel about all that? I don't know. It's not like I never did it. And it would be fun with you, probably. And you're hot. I know you've done it, lol. But are you affectionate? I'm not clingy, lol. But, yeah, I'm affectionate during it. The whole point of affection is to be affectionate, not during sex. That's what affection is. Well, thanks for clearing that up. Yeah. Now my head hurts. Yeah. Well, I was with my ex. But not, not all... Oh my god, I need you every second. Well, that's different. I mean touching and kissing and hugging. Oh, yeah, I'm into that. Have you ever thought a guy was hot and wondered what size his dick was? Hello, yeah, a lot. Do you think dick size matters? No. X was decent. Didn't know what the fuck he was doing. What size was he? About six. Do you think a guy's dick can be too small for you, lol? Well, I don't know. I'm not a dick expert. There are some guys out there who are like three inches. Ha and, ha. And curved to the left. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, that that's 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 nature's design, so it hits the G spot. <laughs> that's ridiculous, lol. Oh my god, no way. It's like wimpy. You can't be a real man with a three inch dick. <laughs> lol. I'm not that big, but I know how to satisfy a girl. He's Wait, broke. he's not... <laughs> Wait, is, is he not three inches? <laughs> yeah. Is he not that big? Two or, in. or is he talking about the six inches of a Rex? Two in, two I'm in. confused. Two inches if he measures from his butthole. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, because the last thing he says was three inch dick, and then he's like, I'm not that big. Yeah. <laughs> Good to know. Yeah, I really want to be intimate with you. I think it'd be fun. It's been a minute for me. What? It's been a while. How long? About three months. Okay. How about you? Two months. Cool. I bet if she'd have said four months, it would have been three. <laughs> Send second verification picture. Fingers crossed. Are you in the middle? Her. No, I'm the one with two fingers. On the right? Yes. Girl in the middle has two up. She has one. Okay, tough to see. I'm on my way to dance class. Hit me up later if you want to talk. Okay. Any selfies? The fuck? She just sent it to you. Yeah, weird. Yeah. Okay. Wednesday, nothing. Thursday. So, Come okay. on. Do you have pretty feet? Tongue out emoji? Well, yeah, I don't have homeless feet. It, it, see, he was one of the guys from Wire Club that just wanted to see your feet. It just took him a while to get there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Have you told anyone about me? No. Oh, wait. No, have you told anyone about me? No. Do you have nice feet? <laughs> and the toasting. <laughs> Pretty normal. Ask me more shit, pathetic face emoji. <laughs> That's what girls like, is that, that pathetic face. Anything you want. Bailey, Bailey, Bailey. Lol, I'm in class. Okay. I don't know what to ask. It's okay. You ask me too. Are you excited to meet me? Yeah, a lot. Are, Are you, you more excited about me or my penis? <laughs> yes. Tell me why you're excited. I didn't even get to say are you before oh. you went to Lorne. Sorry, sorry. Well, Lorne just creeps in here, okay? <laughs> he doesn't creep, he barges. <laughs> yeah, a lot. Are you? Yes. 
Tell me why you're excited, smiley face emoji. See, this is devolving into Lorne. I'm excited to see you. To actually chill and not be all trying to just text, you know? And to see if we're into each other in real life. Can I trust you not to tell anyone about it at this point? Seriously, Jeff? Don't want to hurt you. I get everything you said. I wouldn't do that to you because I'm not an asshole. I know I was scared to get in trouble too, even if it's not the same. I know you don't want to hurt me, but if anyone knows about it, I could get in serious trouble and even go to jail. So that's why no one can know. Yes, it's possible if another person knows that they wouldn't tell anyone, but it's possible they would, so that's why no one can know. No one knows. I didn't even tell my friends my mom was going anywhere. Okay, but can I trust you not to say anything going forward, smiley face? I want to smack him upside the head. He's a dickhead. Yes, Jeff. I pinky swear promise. Thanak you. Just had to hear it, Bailey. You had to hear her pinky swear? Yep. God. Fucking dick. I understand, Jeff. Sorry. I don't always get what you mean right away. As much as I want to meet you, I'm also nervous about the fact that I could be breaking the law with serious consequences. Sorry, I'm being paranoid. For meeting me? No, potentially having sex. Not saying we will, but that is where breaking the law comes in. It's never been anyone's business who I fuck. You don't even know if you want to have sex with me. You know this is not a pleasant thought, but what if we dated... And then we got into a fight and you pressed charges against me for sex with a minor. I would be fucked. I'm not saying this is going to happen, but theoretically it could. Oh my god. You think I'm a major asshole. Jeff, seriously, now I'm stressing out. I would never do that. I think I need to meet you to get over this paranoia. Yes, that would get over the paranoia. Mm-hmm. You have no idea shit I've done on my own or with someone that I would never tell anyone. You're not an asshole. I know I'm not an asshole. I said theoretically. Please separate yourself from this. I w <laughs> Are you what? How is she supposed to separate herself from this when you're the one saying it? Because it's dick <laughs> Look, it's dickhead logic, okay? Fucking dickhead. <laughs> Please separate yourself from this. I would say this with anyone your age. It's not you, it's the situation. <sighs> okay, so let me understand. I think after I meet you, you know, and commit the crime, it should be fine, sure. You want to meet me. Because we have fun chatting, right? And all we're doing is talking. Yes, you still the wreck? Sorry, my mom was calling me. And you're worried that we might or might not have sex. And you don't even know if you want to. You don't get it. Is that what you mean by theoretical? Let me explain. Have you ever heard of a prenuptial agreement in marriage? No, and I can't wait to hear where this yeah, comes from. Uh, yeah, how this right, enters into go. it. Let's go. Sometimes, when rich people get married, they sign this agreement. Usually between someone rich and someone not so rich. It protects the rich person in case of a divorce. When the not-so-rich person gets divorced, they can't sue for 50% of the rich person's asset, which is, in, which is commonplace. It's a shitty situation to have to sign this agreement when getting married, but people do in case there is a problem. So theoretically, the rich person could be screwed over if there is a potential divorce. The prenup protects him. Our situation is similar, but there is no agreement. The way it's similar is that I have to trust you throughout the whole time we're together, potentially, to not reveal our relationship if we had sex, that is. Right now I trust you, and I'm sure you will af after I meet you. But I can't predict the future. Shit happens. People change. People turn on one another. I have been around. I know shit can happen. And you would have to be an idiot to not think it's possible. I'm getting what you're saying. I'm not a dick. I wouldn't do that. But I understand why you keep asking. Theoretically just means that something is possible whether highly likely or not. And again, I'm not saying you would do this. 
uh, to me or anything, but it is possible. I understand. Seriously, there are assholes in the world. Especially rich people and their money. Do you know what statutory rape is? I wouldn't sign an agreement. No, I don't. There is no agreement to sign in our situation. I meant if I was marrying... Oh. I meant if I was marrying a rich guy. Then he may not marry you, but that's how it is. Lots of celebrities do it, and if you don't sign it, it makes you look selfish. Like you're marrying the guy for his money. That's how it looks in the public eye. But statutory rape. It's me fucking you. That's statutory rape. Punishable of up to 20 years in prison. I was reading about it. I think you should too. But what if I want to, and I'm okay with it? Still a felony. If the police found out, it wouldn't matter what you said. Again, I read up on it. That's dumb. Risking 20 years in prison is a big deal. I can make my own choices. That's why I'm worried. I wish there wasn't a law. I mean, wouldn't it be nice if there just weren't laws against all those illegal things you want to do? Yeah. Well, I'm not saying anything. The law needs to worry about real crime. Not if two people want to have sex. Doesn't matter. We can't change it. Stupid still. Let's say you lied about your age and told me you were 18 and we had sex and police found out. I could still be arrested and convicted. This is also part of the law. Consent means nothing. Lack of knowledge means nothing. That is really dumb. So listen, Bailey. Can you understand why I'm paranoid? Yes. I still want to meet you, which is harmless. (laughs) But... I want to meet you, too. I can't help but not think about being attracted to you and wanting to fuck you. So it's all in the same. I think we most likely would want to be intimate if we met. Do you really want to? So that's the challenge. Do I want to what? Okay. This is probably the dumbest question. Don't judge. Okay. But honestly, do you really want to have sex with me? Or are you just talking? I can't answer that. Because I already know what I think. I want to meet you and then I will know. What's your answer? I think you just want to see what I'd say. No, I just want to know your true feeling. If you don't know, neither do I. You said you already know what you think, Lowell. That's what I meant. That you just say it to see what I would say. Do you want to have sex with me? I guess when I meet you, I'll know too. Okay. Will you promise me you will never tell anyone about us? Not even our, not even your best friend or relative? Nobody? Will you promise? I promise. I'm not telling anyone. Not ever. And especially your mom. Well, oh, fuck no. Just say the words. You will never tell anyone about us. Never her. Wait, just say, you will never tell anyone about us having sex. I will never tell anyone about us having sex. I promise. Are you sure? Yes, Jeff. I'm sure. Okay. I can be there Saturday afternoon. Stay with you that night and go home Sunday. That would be great. And I really appreciate you listening to me and respecting my thoughts and worries. It means a lot. I do. I'm sorry I didn't really understand before. Do you know why it's such a serious crime, space question mark? No. Because adults have been known to manipulate and brainwash minors into sex. A minor sometimes isn't old enough or mature enough to make certain decisions. Something could be promised to a minor in exchange for sexual favors. A minor is called a minor because they can't always make logical decisions. Anyway, I have to go. Chat later. Sorry, my mom was bugging. Okay, Friday. Call, no answer. Hey, cutie, what's your address? Question marks. Did you chicken out? OMG, I'm a complete fucktard. I had to help my mom's friend tonight. They had an emergency, so I came to watch their horrible kids. I knocked out with them. I'm at, I'll be home by 2 tomorrow. I'll message you if you forgive me. My iPod is dying. I'll charge and message. Sorry. All right, Saturday. I'm really sorry, Jeff. I'm back home if you want to come over. 
I can't make it. I forgive you, though. It's okay. Maybe another time. Thanks. I really am sorry. No problem. What are you doing today? Dealing with a plumbing issue. That sucks. Yep. So what happened? You didn't have your iPod yesterday to respond? I did, but didn't see your message. And the kids I had to watch were fucking monsters. And I saw your message on Wire 2, but so late. I knocked it. I knocked, and I knocked out with the kids. Because, oh my god, they're fucking monsters. I'm glad I'm on the pill. I'm never having kids. I still want to see you. I still want to see you, too. I'm waiting for a plumber to arrive. My kitchen and bathroom sinks are clogged. That sucks. I remember when our washing machine backed up and flooded the den. If he's done early and you want to come, let me know. I'm still very tempted. Even if I come later. The problem is I have to see if the kennel has any room for my dog. What kind of dog? German Shepherd. Aww. Hey Bailey, I have to admit I'm still nervous about this whole thing. Let me ask you something. Is it a big dog? Let's just say we meet and really like each other and want to continue seeing each other. How would we do this? Like I said, as long as you're under 16, the age of consent, nobody can know about us. I just can't take that chance. I was thinking about that, and I wouldn't even tell my friends. So, I was thinking, maybe I could tell my mom that I'm volunteering at school for my community service hours. We have to have 40 at least before graduation. I don't know, then take a train or meet. You would really do that? Take a train up here? Question mark? I guess it would be kind of like long distance. Yeah, I would. I am impressed and intrigued by it. I used to take the Metrolink from LA to San Diego. I love train rides. Well, you should look into it. Where the tra Where is the train station? It's near here somewhere. Not super close. The only problem is that it would be difficult for you to come up here when your mom is home. Because then you couldn't stay overnight. It's a long ride just to stay a couple hours. Two to three hour train ride. Yeah, but she goes away. And I guess if we really like each other, we could figure out something. You're tight. Right. She's calling. Let me know if you want to come. You can bring the dog. If he doesn't shit in the house. Let me know you're, when you're done with the call. Okay, I'm back. Where's mom? Question mark. Dallas. Okay. So do you know what I mean by this 16 is age of consent? At 16 I can drive. No. And decide who I can date. It means that an adult who has sex with someone under 16 is breaking the law. And everyone can shut the fuck up. It's complicated, by, but I was researching it. They have close in age laws. Like if you have sex with someone within two years of your age, it's not breaking the law. Okay. The only thing that can prevent me from getting arrested is if we got married. Lol. Hello, Mayo. We could always elope. Ha ha. <laughs> I can get married at 16, but I can't fucking buy vodka? You could get married at 13. Really? Yes, that's my point. Holy shit, that's crazy. If you were married to me right now, then I wouldn't be breaking the law by fucking you. It's crazy, but it would be our... The rest of this line is missing. That sucks. Really? Seriously, that would be something to remember in my life. We don't have to tell anyone, but if it got leaked out, at least we would be protected. And yes, it would be something no other 14-year-old does. Ha <laughs> ha! Okay. Honestly, I know divorce isn't hard. My parents' divorce was easy. I'm <laughs> cracking up. But I'd do it, as long as we don't tell anyone. We would never tell. Okay. Once you're 16, it'd be fine. I lost my spot again. Sorry. Okay. Okay, so at 16, we decided we really want to be together or go our own ways? Well, no, I'm saying once you're 16... It's legal to have sex with me, and people couldn't rat us out and cause drama if they knew. Oh, okay. 
Even though we were still protected when you're under 16, it's not good to tell people. There's always someone that'll want to fuck us over. Yeah, I wouldn't tell. That's truth for sure. People can be dicks. Yes, because think about it. Someone sees a 44-year-old dude with a 14-year-old girl, and they'll think I'm brainwashing you or blackmailing you or some shit. They will think something's morally wrong, so they will not mind their own fucking business and want to stop it. Yeah, stupid. But I know there are always haters. Exactly. You're being smart by thinking that. I learned that. Don't trust anyone, for the most part. But you can trust me, smiley face. Lol, I hope so. If we're getting married, lol. Believe me, I wouldn't want to go through getting married and all that if I didn't have to. I wish we could just date and not have to worry. I know. But unfortunately, we can't. It's stupid, but I understand. I can't go to jail. My life would be ruined. I can be locked up for 20 years in some cases. I'd find out who said something and fuck up their world. 20 years in jail. Shit, it scares me. That's why I was reading about it. Yeah, I get it. I know you said you like to read. I do too, especially when it's protecting my life. Ha ha. Hello, Is there any way I can hear your voice? Yeah, call me. I just tried. On my cell, lol. You can't do a phone call on Skype? Redacted phone number. I can't talk on it, lol. It rings, but only I'll hear you. Because you're using an iPod? Yep. It's an old one my dad got that was fixed up for some apps. Can I text you on the phone going forward? Yeah. Alright, and apparently their phone calls, their the conversation switched over to text messages. Getting pissed about that plumber. Let's see. Okay, pick. Transfer. Transcriber note. Jeff looking like a serial killer going through a midlife crisis. <laughs> Handsome beast. Love that. Ha ha. Thanks. You know I do. Was doing more research. Just found out that you would have to get written consent from your mom to get married under 18. Fuck. Fuck. I have some ideas on this. Can talk later. Okay. Still want me to see you? Yeah. You still want to see me? Fuck yes. Can be around nine-ish. Can. Rest of the line is missing. What's your address? No, this is me. Oh, yeah. What's your address? Blank Road. You got booze? My mom has some vodka, but no rum. Smiley face. You on your way? Can we drink it? Yes. Lol, yeah. I'll tell her the bottle broke. Lol, got OJ or cranberry juice? A little OJ, no cranberry. What you doing? Cleaning the kitchen so you don't talk shit if it's a mess. Ha ha, can't wait to see you. I can't wait either. Can we get our kid in contact with Jeff Sokol so maybe he cleans up the kitchen? <laughs> Jeff, Jeff, what are you doing these days? <laughs> are you kidding? He wouldn't care. No, he wouldn't care. How long do I have to get ready? Around nine still. Okay. Call in a pizza at your favorite place and I'll pick it up. Text me the address. What kind you like? I like pepperoni. What about you? Same. Okay. Let me know when you're 20 minutes away. I don't want cold pizza. You want pizza or wings, too? Small pie and buffalo wings. Medium low. I'm hungry. Sure. Okay. Text when I should call. It's Planet Pizza. 20. Okay. Calling them now. I got a small pizza and six wings. I put it for pickup for Bailey. It's like $20. Got it. Do they have medium? I'm hungry. Hello? Nope. I thought so. We always get large. They have small and large. You can call, you want to call back? Yes. Okay. Fucking picky. Lol, you said small. Hungrier now, and you said medium, which was perfect. Also thought more wings. Get a large pizza. Lol. OMG, you can have all the wings except one. Smiley face. I got the pizza large. Now it's 23-something. 
Sunglasses emoji. Blank face emoji. Pizza emoji. Mixed drink emoji. Yay! Food. I got hungry too, so I ate a bagel and I'm still hungry. Hey, have you got it yet? And that is the end of this. And, uh, you know, Jeff walked in there with that pizza and loudly slurped his way into our hearts. Yes. And now, now we shall celebrate this auspicious day with, with our own pizza. Yes. So, it is the Jeff Sokol Pizza Party Night. Woo! All right, kiss, kiss.